Oxidative stress has been getting plenty of media attention lately with lots and lots of research. Associating reactive oxygen species and chronic oxidative damage with a plethora of conditions like cancer, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, hypertension and even neurological conditions like Parkinson's disease. Oxidative stress seems pretty nasty if you ask me. I mean, who wants to increase their risk of getting cancer? I know it's definitely not me. But one of you guys asked a pretty cool question, not gonna lie. Robbie Robinson asked this. If exercise increases oxidative stress within the cell, then why is it a healthy thing to do? And to be fair, that's a really great question. So thank you, Robbie. I suppose this video is for you. But before we start, I want to thank all of you marvelous subscribers for watching my videos and continuing to support my channel. I think it still amazes me that there are people out there who are actually invested in this channel and who continue to watch my content week in and week out. But if you're new here, let me tell you a little bit about Dr. Tell Me Why. Dr. Tell Me Why is a health education YouTube channel I started to teach the general public all about medicine in a fun and really accessible way. If that sounds like a cup of tea or something that you want to see more of here on YouTube, then I definitely recommend you subscribe. Why? Because learning something new is literally the coolest thing you can do. Reactive oxygen species are a pretty big family and they include any oxygen molecule with an unpaired electron. Now this unpaired electron makes them uber unstable and people worry a lot about these free oxygen radicals. For good reason. Reactive oxygen species are responsible for a whole host of things like inducing cell death, promoting inflammation inside your body, as well as damaging cellular DNA. I mean, yes, that sounds pretty worrying if you ask me. Typically, they're produced in small amounts inside your body, but when you exercise, your muscles go into overdrive, and they suddenly start producing huge quantities of these free oxygen radicals. And so, vigorous exercise can result in a huge increase in the amount of free radicals and the amount of oxidative stress inside your body. And while free radicals may be bad and they may be dangerous, they have their place in human biology. Free radicals allow your muscles to contract more strongly, thus allowing you to run faster than you already do. They also have a pretty big role in muscle hypertrophy, basically allowing muscles to grow and increase in size, which I'm pretty sure will please any bodybuilder who happens to be watching this. But given their reputation for causing inflammation and being associated with cancer and heart disease, how worried should athletes and people who engage in regular high-intensity exercise be? So while free oxygen radicals are bad, your body is actually pretty clever and it has systems in place to de-radicalize these free oxygen radicals. <laughs> anyway. Your body has systems, enzymes, in place to detoxify itself from these free oxygen species so they don't just continue to build up inside of you, indefinitely. We call these enzymes antioxidants and they occur naturally inside of you. They're your body's defense line against a host of inflammatory conditions as well as things like cancer. Antioxidants, good! And vigorous exercise actually increases the amounts of these antioxidant enzymes sometimes by up to 180%. Scientists looking at DNA damage noted that though there was plenty of damage following a really intense workout, this damage only lasted for around 24 hours and resolved spontaneously. However, one thing to remember is that exercise only begins to increase levels of these antioxidant enzymes around four weeks after regular exercise, while free oxygen radicals are formed from the get-go. So the best thing you can do for your health, according to the science of course, is to come up with a regular workout schedule and stick to it. That way you can build up your body's levels of naturally occurring antioxidants and keep all those dangerous free radicals in check. And of course, you'll get to enjoy all the great health benefits that come from being fit and active. I don't think I need to tell you what they are. <laughs> Finally, I feel like I need to say something about antioxidants that are sold over the counter in supermarkets and pharmacies. Why? Because I like the sound of my own voice. No, well, maybe a little bit. <laughs> well, because I think some of you are probably wondering where over-the-counter antioxidants kind of fit in all of this. So, 
The evidence is very limited, but what little evidence we have seems to suggest that taking over-the-counter antioxidant supplements prevents your body from adapting to exercise. In other words, it prevents free oxygen radicals from doing their magic and making muscles stronger and larger, and also prevents your body from making its own antioxidants and building up its own reserves. However, as I said earlier, the evidence on this is very limited, so you guys decide what you want to do with this information. I hope you guys learned something new today, and I hope you had fun doing so. I definitely had a lot of fun researching this topic and filming this video for you guys. And thank you, Robbie. This was a great video idea. Uh, definitely so much better than some of my ideas. So thanks, Robbie. <laughs> if you like this video, then give it a like so that YouTube can start recommending this video to more people and more people can see it and maybe learn something new as well. If you really love this video and for some weird reason you want to see more content from my channel, then please subscribe. If you do, you'll get to join me on this journey that I'm on YouTube and see all the awesome medical content that I have planned in the future. Great stuff. I'm like the world's biggest introvert, but like, I think I'm finally getting the hang of this. So that's pretty cool. See you next week. This exercise will result in a huge increase in oxidative stress in your body. Body. Buddies, buddies, hashtag buddies, doing so. Okay, can I have some tea?